Good morning on Saturday the 20th of March and today is the spring equinox. What are the days in the year where day and night are of equal length? And it's also the day when we give thanks for the life of St. Cuthbert. Our opening prayer. Almighty God, who called your servant Cuthbert to follow your son and to be a shepherd to your people. In your mercy, grant that we follow his example and bring those who are lost and searching back to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today's readings are from Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 7 to 13, and Psalm 147. The Bible is full of farming images, and Jesus uses many of these in his teaching. The ones which stick in my mind most are those which are linked to sheep, and how they follow each other anywhere if there isn't a shepherd. Sometimes we call this pack, herd or flock mentality. But it's not just livestock which behave in this way. Humans do it as well. One thing highlighted by recent lockdowns is the sociable nature of humans. In particular, Young people like to be popular and they like to be together as part of an in-group. Before events of the past year, they may well have said that the nature of relationship had changed, that it was now all about social media followers and virtual friends. But people are now recognising the importance of actual contact and meeting. This, however, can bring about its own problems. By wanting to be popular, it's easy to get drawn into wrong behaviour patterns and even gang culture. And it takes a brave person to stand up against so-called friends and make a stance against wrong. Today we're thinking about the life of St. Cuthbert. He tends to be associated with Lindisfarne, where he was bishop, as was St. Aidan, and where Cuthbert's later ministry took place. It is said that Cuthbert showed peaceable qualities and the power of Christ in serving God. But today I want to touch on something which happened when he was a young man. He saw a crowd gathered by the side of the River Tyne, the river which runs through Newcastle. Cuthbert joined the crowd to see what was happening. Some monks were being washed down the river on a raft. They were from a monastery which had recently been built in the area. The locals didn't like incomers, particularly as they'd introduced Christianity into the area. So they just stood there and watched, rather than doing anything to try to help and save them. Cuthbert said that they should pray rather than gloat about the monk's misfortune. But the crowd jeered Cuthbert and said that they weren't bothered about the monks. But Cuthbert knew the right thing to do. Despite the feeling in the crowd and the pressure from them, he knelt and prayed for the monk's safety. And miraculously, the wind changed direction and the monks landed safely at their monastery. In the same way, 
Jeremiah the prophet continues to do the right thing and it wasn't easy for him either. In today's reading, he's telling God about the opposition and peer pressure that he too is experiencing. Yet despite this, not doing what God wants isn't an option to Jeremiah. And he recognises that God is with him at all times, even if the people around him aren't. And we come to our next prayer. May all that is within me and all things I touch and all the people I meet today give the highest praise and glory to God. Amen. And you may wish to echo this prayer in your own hearts. We now come to the prayer points for today. Let's pray for everyone who has got caught up in wrong ways and bad influences. Let's ask God to give us the courage to stand up for him. And let's pray for people who are suffering from long COVID. We now come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And before the blessing, just a reminder that next Tuesday, that's the 23rd of March, is the day of reflection relating to COVID-19. And here at St. Aidan's Church, we are going to be open between 11.30 and 12.30 for people to drop in for private prayer. And hopefully on the screen in church, we will be projecting some prayers uh, to help you uh, with your prayer and reflection. Our final blessing. The light of the Creator shine on you. The light of the Saviour scatter the darkness from before you. The light of the Holy Spirit guide you at all times. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you today and evermore. Amen.